say not one word. My pinky toe. Yes, my pinky toe. And it's been a lot of pain, but today is a lot better. So I wanted to get on with the Okamai Knife giveaway. This is to all of the people, and I'll show you how you get in on this, but this is to all of the little people who bought the From My Plate to Yours cookbook, uh, Lunch Fix. This is all your names, y'all. It's all the names. All the names are right here. I want to say, first of all, thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give a little time for some people to get in here. But um, from those of you who have been following me through the years, I just want to let you know that I appreciate it. As my grandmother used to say, Kenny, people ain't got to be nice to you. So when people nice, be nice back. So um, I feel the love, I feel the appreciation, and um, I want to say thank you. Um, I know with the book, um, I'm going to be coming through the months with some more information about what the book is all about, but you know it's a lunch cookbook. These are the recipes that help me uh, to get to a healthier and happier place, because that's what it's all about. It really is about a healthier and happier plate, and it starts with the food on your plate. That's what I learned through the years. Um, diets, Zumba, all this good stuff going on, but if you don't have a focus or belief about what the food is on your plate, and how it feeds your life and how it feeds your goals, then you're really missing out on a great opportunity to show up for yourself, to really show up for yourself and be healthy because that's what it's about, abundant life. So I got the names here. We got the Oka, my knife. I want to talk about a few things because you may have seen on Friday, I dropped a little bombshell. You know, I did a little video. Do you see the video? I see it. I see it. I love Luther. Don't you love Luther? <laughs> I love singing Luther. Um, I'm going to come back later because I'm going to be doing like a, a whole set of Luther live with a whole band and everything. I'm excited to talk about that. Well, I'll talk about that another time because it's really about the Okamai Knife. So I want to say to our partner, to my partner, um, and to the sponsor of this giveaway, thank you, Okamai Knife. Everybody say thank you, Okamai. <laughs> they are <laughs> my boy Greg is videotaping me. He's stupid. Um, I want to say thanks to them because um, we uh, had a talk, and I told them what I wanted to do with the cookbook, and I wanted to, you know, basically give a gift to all of you for for doing so and uh, for buying the book. And it was like, well, sure, we're partner with you. So again, thank you, Open My Knife. Um, Jay Mathis was our first winner. Did that live, he got the um, eight inch uh, wood handle um, open my knife. This is the German steel one that we're going with today. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that uh, a little later. That is what I'm gonna give to two lucky winners today. We're talking about German steel eight inch chef knife, uh, stainless steel, a blade that can handle like those heavy duty work things in the kitchen, you're cutting, you're chopping and beyond in the kitchen. And um, for those of you who don't know, okamai in Japanese means wolf. So there's stories, there's stories about slaying dragons and samurais and all that good stuff to be a uh, help in the kitchen. And as I said before, some of us need <laughs> all the help we can, we can get in the kitchen. It's the okamai knife, the eight inch one. So um, if you don't happen to be one of the lucky winners today, you can go to okamaiknice.com um, and put in the code Chef Kenny 2018 and get yourself a nice discount. 18%, uh, 10%, 10%, don't tell them I said 18 10% on all the knives on there. Chef Kenny 2018, and you can get all the knives for 10% off. So, two lucky winners. I got one more knife, but I'm decided I might keep that one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely want to give away two more right here. Um, just getting back to the book a little bit, um, from my plate to yours, Lunch Fix, uh, Recipes for a Healthier and Happier You. Um, I wanted to share with you my intentions with the book. 
Um, yes, I wanted to give you delicious food uh, wrapped up in some of those recipes that my grandmother taught me that I've learned as a chef uh, to, to bring those flavors um, that remind me of my childhood back to healthy cooking. Um, some of you already know my story. I lost like 90 pounds. It's been about 10 years since I kept the weight off. And these recipes are those recipes that have helped me to stay healthier and happier through the years. And I wanted to share that with you because I, uh, I want to help those who are struggling to lose weight, to keep weight off, to keep it sustainable. Uh, we have so many good intentions about weight loss. We know we should, right? You know you should. You know you want to lose the weight. You want to get back. Um, I had a client come to me and said, uh, Chef Kenny, I want to get rid of this girl. She came to me and said, I want to get rid of this pooch. <laughs> now, I can tell you, she had more than a little pooch that she was grabbing. <laughs> but she, but the, her intentions about losing weight, uh, sometimes we can get in our, our thoughts about losing weight, but we don't take action. All right, so this cookbook, maybe just a help, a, a tasty roadmap to a healthier you through the food you eat every day on the plate. Um, I've been overweight. I know what that feels like. Um, those of you who may be struggling with that right now. Uh, and I think uh, somebody asked me, well, you must like putting on clothes and think you're cute now. What's the biggest thing for um, since you lost the weight? And it really is none of that. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit because I feel good. I feel good. Because one of my intentions, and, and, and the guys in the, in, on the block may know this, I always just wanted to wear a tank top. A tank top in the summertime. Uh, a white beater, as they say. And that was my only goal, was to wear a white beater. Uh, but beyond that, all the negotiating that I did with the weight. And you know what I'm talking about. When you're home, and this is why I say I was fat, not overweight. Nobody goes home and say, I'm feeling overweight. It's, it's I, I was fat. And it... it, 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 it affected more than just my self-esteem. It's how I saw myself. It's how all the negotiations that you do that I did when I was overweight. Like just choosing a seat on the subway between two people and, and wondering just for that split second, can I fit between there? They looking at me like, don't sit your big butt down. <laughs> and I'm looking at them like I'm not even going to try. I'm going up the escalators. I'm deciding on which side I had to sleep on so I wouldn't wake up in pain in the morning. All this negotiating with weight, y'all, and it doesn't have to be. So I really do all my nutrition classes and all the teaching I do is just say that life is the gift. And you should not have to struggle with it based off of your weight. And so if you want to get on this ride with me with the cookbook, um, I also dropped the smoothie book, as I said, on, um, on Friday. It's called um, Everyday Smoothie. Everyday Smoothie. That is free. That's free for all of you who have bought the book. So even if you don't want the knives, you get the smoothie books. That's going to be available on the 11th of next week. And um, if people ask me what is the most single thing that helped contribute to my weight loss, it has to be smoothies every day. That's why I'm so excited about sharing it. Because A, it made me feel good about myself. B, it was a quick way to get a meal out the door. Y'all don't have time. We got kids, we got errands out the door, we're running uh, for work in the morning. I'm telling you, a good way to do is just to make a smoothie before your mind even has a chance to think something otherwise. Let me peep you with this. My morning breakfast used to be um, an egg on croissant, uh, provolone cheese, bacon, and jelly with orange juice and a side of home fries. I ate that almost at least every other day on my way to work when I had a nine to five. That's a lot of food on your system first thing, on the, first thing in the morning. It's a lot of food. So the smoothies are opportunity, if you have a blender, then you have a, a tool for better health. So I'm excited about the smoothie book. Terribly, terribly, terribly excited about it. Um, you can get it, it's gonna be available after this for $9.95. <laughs> So I say get the book, get the smoothie book for free, you'll come out of here. So to talk about that smoothie book, we'll talk about that. So let's talk about this knife. This is the knife, the Okamai knife. So let me just talk about it. It comes in this beautiful box. It's a decorative box. Do you see that? <laughs> comes in this decorative box. It's amazing. And so if you like it, I like it. If it so when it came in the mail and I was talking to my partners over at Okamai, I was just like, And when it came and I touched the handles and I, and I saw just how a great job they did on it. Let me read this to you. This is from Okamai. Living on the cutting edge, all right? 
um, engage with us, um, and this is for, they have a club and discounts and t-shirts and all of this, but living on the cutting edge, that's a great, it comes with its own casing, this is with the Lucky Winter Kids, so you can keep your knife in this casing, and it comes with its own cleaning cloth, come on, cleaning cloth, your knife at home ain't got no cleaning cloth, come on now, and then it comes in this box, and this is the knife right here, this is the German steel knife, this is 8 inch, uh, sharp blade, it's a really, really sharp blade, and as I become, uh, you know, as I cook more and more, the importance of having a good blade to get that small dice, to get that chiffonade, to get a large dice, to cut through the good meat, you need a good knife. You need a good knife. So this is the knife that I'm giving away. It is beautiful. And uh, two lucky winners are going to get that real soon. All right. So this is what the giveaway is. I also want to say that everybody in this box, in this, <laughs> These are the winners. I see your names, I got you in here. Sorry, Mom, I had to pull out my mother yet again. I didn't even put her in this time. And my best friend, I love you, uh, Bill, but I had to take him out, that wasn't fair. But everybody else, you are in here, all right? Um, thank you again. Greg, make sure you get a shot of that. This is what you're getting. Oh, come on, knife. Oh, before I forget. You got that shot? That's a good shot. <laughs> um, I want to mention a few things to you. As, so I talked about the smoothie book, right? So there's a smoothie book, August the 11th. If you already bought the book, it's yours. You got it, all right? And then after that, it's going to be on sale for 9 dollars at chefkinney.com, all right? Um, and then it's going to be a hard copy book by the end of the year. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. Um, and then August the 3rd, I'm doing a three-part series. Uh, it's called Food and Belief. All right, food and belief, because this is what I tell in all of my nutrition classes. If you don't know what you believe about food, I know when I was overweight, I used to say, so what do you believe, Kenny, about food? Well, I believe it should be delicious. <laughs> it should be delicious, yes. But what else should it do? It should sustain life, it should furnish energy, and it should sustain growth. Is the food you're eating helping you to sustain life? And this isn't about being perfect. I, I'm gonna go on the record right now. I uh, guess Milton Washington, I'm gonna say it. I like Popeyes. I eat it on Sundays. I enjoy it. However, when you eat Popeyes, how you recover from fast food is the point, is the point I'm trying to make. And the problem is we're always kind of eating fast food every day in some kind of form every day. And that's how the weight comes. So I want to talk about in this three-part series, it's gonna be the end of August. Just keep you, you know, I'll do a post about it. But I want to get everybody to a place of belief. Before um, I, I, got, I lost the weight that first time, now many of you have been on diets and you tried to make them stick. And people have asked me, so what was it, Kenny, this time that made it stick? And the thing that I, can, I always say is that I chose this time to believe. I think I was hopeful all the other times about losing weight, but I had to start to believe um, that I was possible. And I was just telling my class, uh, you know, I teach a class over at, at, at the college, and I was just telling them, if I had stayed that Kenny, the overweight Kenny, uh, undoubting in every level in my life of, of sorts, I wouldn't be the guy sitting right here trying to sell you a knife. <laughs> I wouldn't have done all the many great things. Mom said, I don't tell my stuff No, I've been on Food Network. I started my own catering company. I have private clients. I've done TV shows, all of that stuff. Would not have happened, not have happened if I had stayed in that place and not believing that God had a way for me to be the best person that I can be. And in, in, in the relationship that God told me that night that I had this moment, I put in the book, just give you a little bit of it. I don't want my editor to be like, you done gave away the story in the book. But I do kind of talk about that night that kind of changed everything. You know what I mean? It changed everything in my life um, and put me on a road to better health. So I share that story with you, hopefully that it could be a blessing to you. But we're going to get down to this winner because I'm getting a cue from my um, <laughs> camera guy. All right. So this is all the winners. This is for the Oak of My Knife. I'm going to draw the first name of our first winner. I'm so excited. I really want a show so I can do this more often. I want to give away stuff because it makes me happy. <laughs> all right. Imagine it's a jump rope. <laughs> the first name of the Oak of My Knife. And I'm sending this to you. Just get ready. Here we go. First name. 
Oh, I'm excited, bro. Everybody got feel good energy. Here we go. First name. Boop. Everybody's name in there. You see it? This is going to Tamika Hill. <laughs> Tamika. I know Tamika. I, oh, I know all y'all. <laughs> Tamika Hill, you are the first winner of this Okamai night. I'm going to send that to you. I want to see you cook with it. I want to see pictures and everything and everything you slept with the food, with the night. Here we go. Now, second winner. We all agree? We all agree? Second winner. Second winner of the Okamai. I think I should sing a song right here. <laughs> Did you used to hate when Mr. Rogers would be talking and just bust out in this song in the middle of the thing? I would do it. Keep playing with me. Here we go. Yeah, I'm a silly guy. No. Don't do it. Mm, the cameraman, stay cameraman. Here we go. <laughs> For the second winner for the Okamai Night, here we go. And our winner is... Yeah, yeah, Denise. B-O-D-D-I-E. Body. I know who Denise is, but you are our lucky winner. We got two ladies. This is ladies night and the body's time. So we got Tamika Hill is the winner and Denise Baldy. I think I'm saying that right. That is the two winners. I want to say yet again, thank you. Thank you. You got a question? Uh, Tamika Songbird Hill says, sing a song, Kenny. I'm going to back you up. She, <laughs> Tamika, I met Tamika. That's my friend from UDC, my UDC days from the choir. So she's a friend, but she, all of y'all my friends. All of y'all my friends, I swear. But I'm not gonna sing a song, there are other videos for that, we'll do that later. I'm really excited. Again, thank you to Okamai Knives for allowing me to spread the word about their good knives. Um, I tell you, I have the personal chef knife. It is my favorite knife. I love this brand and I'm so glad to partner with them. And I'm so glad that I can give this away to you wonderful people who have been supporting me through the years. I'm grateful. Know in my spirit, I'm grateful for everything that is happening and having you be a part of it is just a really blessing. It's a good blessing and I appreciate it. So everybody, have a good night. Treat yourself well. Eat for life. Talk to you soon.